Welcome to Analog Arts Frequency Analyzer Tutorial. Please feel free to download the demo application software from analogarts.com to help you follow the seminar. For this presentation, we use SF880, an automated sweep frequency response analyzer. After running the application software, the instrument performs a thorough calibration process that takes about one minute to complete. Next the instrument menu appears on the screen. The menu allows the user to select the instrument of interest. Clicking on the FRA button turns on the frequency response analyzer. The instrument has two modes of operation, gain and impedance. To perform gain and phase measurement, click on the button marked gain. To set up for this measurement, connect the output of the arbitrary signal generator to channel 1, and also the input of the device under test, with a pair of identical coax cables. Then, connect the output of the device under test to channel 2. When the setup is ready, enter the desired parameters in their corresponding text boxes in the FRA panel, and choose the sweep type, and also signal coupling, simply by clicking on their buttons. Once all the parameters are entered and the appropriate selections are made, click on the run button to start the analysis. The frequency panel at the bottom of the screen shows the frequency that is being analyzed. After each one of the individual frequency analysis is finished, the gain and phase plots are updated to show the response of the device under the frequency. Clicking on the zoom in buttons adjust the vertical scaling of the screen to fit the area between the corresponding markers. On the other hand, the gain and phase zoom out buttons increase the corresponding vertical scaling by a factor 2 each time they are clicked. The color coded up and down arrows at the top left corner of the screen allows the user to reposition the gain graph for better viewing. Similarly, the up and down arrows at the top right corner of the screen repositions the phase plot. For testing purposes, clicking on the pause button stops the analysis while maintaining the analysis condition. To continue the analysis, click on the run button. The clear button clears the screen for a fresh start. For impedance measurement, a sense resistor is placed between the output of the signal generator and the input of the device under test. For a more accurate impedance measurement the sense resistor should have a value of about 10% to twice the impedance of the device under test. Using two identical coaxial cables, the output of the generator is connected to channel 1 and the input of the device under test to channel 2. To switch to the impedance mode of operation, simply click on the impedance button. In this mode, the value of the sense resistor should be entered in its corresponding text box. Similar to the gain measurement, when the setup is ready, enter the desired parameters in their corresponding text boxes and choose the sweep type and also signal coupling, simply by clicking on their buttons. Once all the parameters are entered and the appropriate selections are made, clicking on the run button starts the analysis. Similar to gain and phase measurement mode, clicking on the zoom buttons, in the impedance mode, adjust the vertical scaling of the screen to a desired setting. The frequency response analyzers provides the user with pairs of gain, phase, impedance, and frequency markers, which can be activated by turning on their buttons at the bottom of the screen. The markers can be positioned by left button clicking of the mouse and dragging them to desired location. The markers corresponding information are displayed at the corners of the screen. The information of the mouse location is also provided next to the position of the mouse itself. The utility panel on the top of the screen allows the user to perform a number of tasks. Clicking on the file button activates a menu, which allows the user to save a plot as a reference, recall a previously saved reference, remove a reference from the screen, save a plot, recall a plot, save a setting, recall a previously saved setting, and print the screen. The view menu houses remove impedance, remove gain, remove phase, and remove noise phase buttons. Correspondingly, these options allow the user to remove the impedance graph, the gain graph, the phase graph, and the sections of the phase graph when the gain is less than minus 50 dB. It also provides the user with the ability to change the color of the screen, the color of the graphs, the color of the grids, the order of the plotting, and also to remove the grids. 
The reset button sets the instrument to its default condition. The calibrate button starts the self-calibration process of the generator. This process usually takes about 10 seconds to complete. The help button guides the user to the online analog arts information site that hosts a collection of useful application documentations and videos. For additional information or to review your application with an engineer, please contact us at info at analogarts.com.